let's learn creating a mapper from multiple sources to one object let's take an example of employee and office and we'll be creating a person detail object where it will have the employee details and office details as well let's create an object and to string method now let's create a person object let's say rename it is person ttv so it will have the first name last name employee id and it will have the office address as well so let's call this string office name string office address string office country and office zip code Let's create set sketches for this one. Let's save all the files and let's create a mapper for this. So let's create a mapper interface. Let's say employee mapper and date and date employee mapper interface with mapper. Let's create a method in the EO to person and here we need to use the multiple sources. So let's create the multiple sources. Employee object as employee and office object as office. Let's maximize this and reform it. Let's check generated mapper interface implementation. So if you see the implementation, it has only the first name and the last name. The reason behind it is the field names are by default only the same field name and data types will be created. So that's where it has been mapped. Office DB object has different names, name, address, and country, but the person DTO has office information as office name, office address, and office zip code. So it is completely different properties, even though it's the same data type. So we need to map office properties into person office properties. So which means the office object of name to person DTO. As the office name let's map this one using it and we have the multiple likes so this time let's use mappings annotation mappings and here it takes array of values array of mappings so using the curly braces and we'll be using mapping annotation and the mapping annotation requires source So we know the target. Our target is office name. But it what is the source? The source will be referenced using the name that was provided here as part of it. In case of the office object, we'll be using office.name. Let's save this file and see the implementation. So if we see it. If the office object is not null, it's using office dot name office name into set office name office dot get name to person dot 
set of base name. Let's finish off rest of the mappings as well. Mapping source office dot address to office address. Office country to office country property of DTO object and let's write the last mapping as well, which is zip code. Let's observe the implementation. Yes, implementation has used all the mappings which were provided at the interface mapper interface so let's reformat the person DTO has employee ID and it is not been mapped here because only the first name and last name have the same name of the property let's create at the starting Mapping thoughts here it will be employee, which is object which was referenced using employee and EMP ID to and the target is employee ID. Let's reformat and save and let's observe mapper IMP. Yes, at the implementation, it has this first name, last name, and the employee ID as well. Let's create a test case for this. Let's say employee office test. Let's make it. Let's create a test case. Let's say yes multiple source test let's create employee db object employee is equals to new employee object office db object to office now let's assign the values That employee ID as 1001 L for the form employee dot set first name form last name Dasharada. Let's give a ID as well. So we are saying it is a DB. So let's create and even for the office so this can set id let's say same one and office name consulting office dot set address bangalore office dot set country India office start that zip code some random zip code so now we have the both objects which is multiple sources which is employee object and the office object let's create our TTO person TTO as TTO and now let's create the assertions assertion not null, not equals to game. Sorry, let's create assertions. Asset not null. TTO asset equals employee first name should be person dot first name. Employee dot get first name. 
it equals employee dot last name dto dot last name set equals employee dot get id which is employee id which i mean dto dot employee id now let's write the assertions for office object this office dot name will be dto dot get office name as it equals office dot get address dto dot get office address as it equals office dot country did you order get office country equals office chart get zip code did you order get office zip code our assessions are completed Let's create a mapper object and then create a DTO object. So, my mapper, so mapper, and let's use let's create the mapper implementation using mappers that get mapper. So let's inch let's create it. So let's create person d2 object from the mapper and we'll be passing employee and office object. let's save all the files and run the test case and it is success so even from the multiple sources we can use it and the only the way we need to be very careful while create it's a success from this one we are creating a person D2 object from the multiple sources. And at the mapper, we need to be very careful while using the names. The variable names, it should be the same. And employee, five. In case of the multiple sources, we need to refer it appropriately. 